Freedom! Today, today we're going to show you how to root a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Um, beware anybody that has the Verizon or AT&T models. You won't be able to do this. You will have to um, install our Torp Recovery. Um, install a new ROM. Then you'll be able to. <laughs> but you mostly. So yeah, this is a T-Mobile and Sprint only. So first, we're gonna have to. You're gonna have to download these two files. We're gonna show you how to do that. So. Basically, I'll put this link in this description. Here's all the files. If you're T-Mobile, you download this one. And if you're with Sprint, you download this one. So you're going to have to download this, Odin. So you click the link. And it's somewhat in, like, Japanese. But Google tries to change it. Then you hit this. This will take you to a site that's like practically full Japanese. So to fix that, you just go over here, hit language, change it to English, and you're good. Or unless you're actually Japanese, it's fine. Then hit free download, and it'll make you wait 30 seconds. It'll download, and that's done. Then you close out all that. Then you don't need to download any of these, so I'll show you how to get the actual updated ones. Then you're going to want to download one of these. Since we're doing this on a Sprint device, I'm going to download the Alpha one. You can actually go in your um, system settings, and I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll uh, check which one you have. Okay, so we're going to show you how to actually change a few settings. So you're going to go to your app drawer, wherever you have your settings. You're going to go all the way down to about device. You're going to tap baseband version a bunch of times and it'll say you're becoming a developer. We're done with that. Go to developer options. Then hit OEM unlock. And if you want to maybe, if, it, if your computer is not recognizing it, I suggest you hitting USB debugging. I do right off the bat because you know it's an extra step you don't have to do. So then, when that's going to happen, when you're you might have a T-Mobile and be on Sprint, it doesn't matter. Um, none of these you really want to get unless the one you actually have. So you'll click this because I have the N920P. And I begin download. It'll make you wait like eight seconds, and you'll download that. When that's done, you're going to go here and extract it. Um, and that extracted. Sorry, that extracted on my other desktop. And you open this. Hold in. Bam. Now I'll show you how to go into download we'll flash mode. it into Odin. You're going to hold the power button power off you're gonna hold volume down power and the home button it's gonna take you into download mode I'm gonna hit volume up and there from there you plug it in your computer so now you're gonna open Odin And you're gonna plug in your device. Anyhow, if you have all the Samsung keys or the Samsung developer drivers, you'll see a blue bar here that says COM and then like a number, that'd be your phone. I mean, it's recognized. So then basically to flash the um, root kernel, you're gonna hit AP. Then you're gonna go to wherever you downloaded it. Mine's Noble Kernel right here in the desktop. And you'll hit that and hit open. And then that will show up right here. You hit start. It's going to say boot 
it'll see like a bunch of stuff come down, it'll say boo, then it'll say reset, and if it says pass, you're good. And now, on your phone, you'll see a little red text at the top that says, uh, kernel, not something, I don't even remember, but, yeah, I'll say that, and then, if it's Samsung starts up and loading, you are in good shape. Next, I'll show you the next step you gotta do. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is unlock your phone, go to the Play Store. You're gonna wanna get super... Shit, sorry. Super... SU. You're gonna wanna get the chain fire on my chain fire. Install that, open. Since I already have it installed. These are kind of the apps that are gonna use it. You got like all that. And basically if that all works, you're ridded. You're good to do whatever you want. You can get rid of all that bloatware. That's it. Freedom to your device.